Greetings, global audience. It's no longer news that these adult crime offenders have been prosecuted for modern slavery in the United Kingdom. His wife were also found guilty at the Old Bailey this morning. All three were convicted under the Modern Slavery Act. The private transplant failed after the victim escaped and ran to a police station. Ellie Pitt has our report. When a 21 year old. The reason why I would say this couple deserve what they bargained for is simply because, as rich, influential, wealthy, and powerful as they are, they could have as well put the Nigeria head sector in order. Mm, and did you not so you talk? Yes, because if Nigeria hospitals are up to standard, I believe these politicians will not be in this mess right now. Yes, now, we could say the truth. This is indeed, the more you look, the less you see. Nigeria wonder, not only American wonder. Yes, as three of these accomplices you are seeing on the screen from left to right, by name Senator Ike Ikwerimadu, 60 years of age, accountant Beatrice Ikwerimadu, 56 years of age, and Dr. Obina Obeta, 51 years of age, have been found guilty of organ advesting that went wrong and the victim is 21 year old david Opo from nigeria guys you can see it is said that Ikwere madu is supposed to pay for the, the kidney transplant operation which goes for the whooping sum of eighty thousand pounds guys let me grab my calculator to see how much it is presently in march 2023 in naira let's do it Eighty thousand pounds in naira equivalent at the exchange rate of nine hundred and twenty naira per pound is seventy three million six hundred thousand naira. Guys, that is why. Now, so because it is only rich, influential, and powerful people like Ike Ikwere Madu that can do things like this in Nigeria, and they will go scot free. Guys, yes, because that is the reason they brought David Okbo to the United Kingdom just to transplant his kidney, one of it to their daughter who you are seeing on the screen now, Sonia Ikwiremadu. So after the prolonged judgment, the jury says that Sonia is innocent, so she is not dragged into the mud like the parents. Even though the parents are the one who took this deadly, drastic decision just for the love for a child. This is the video that is released from the closed circuit TV, CCTV, of the victim as he was seen walking into a police station in the United Kingdom. Guys, I will say it takes both mind to do this. Because well, the couple, I.K. Ikwerimadu and his wife, Beatrice, never saw this coming. Even the highly paid Nigerian UK-based medical doctor who stood as the middleman for them. is also saying a dino for bringing the Nigerian victim to the UK for business purpose. But you know, it's too late to cry when the head is already cut off. I feel for them though, but... If you had used your highly connected powers and this amount, 80,000 pounds, to fix Nigeria Hospital, I believe Nigerians would have commended your efforts and this wouldn't have happened. In the first case of its kind, a Nigerian politician has been found guilty of bringing a man to Britain to try to get his kidney for his daughter. A doctor and the politician's wife were also found guilty at the Old Bailey this morning. All three were convicted under the Modern Slavery Act. The private transplant failed after the victim escaped and ran to a police station. Ellie Pitt has our report. When a 21-year-old man walked into a Surrey police station last year crying and in distress, it was the start of an investigation into an alleged plot to harvest his organ. Nigerian Senator Ike Ikwaramadu has been convicted today of conspiring to arrange the travel of a young man with a view to exploiting him for his body part, alongside his wife Beatrice and a medical middleman, Dr. Abina Abeta. 
The Old Bailey heard how the victim, a street trader from Lagos, was brought to the UK with the offer of £7,000 and the promise of a new life here. But the real plan, the jury was told, was that he would donate his kidney to the Ekwaramadu's daughter, Sonia, who has a serious kidney condition. It's not illegal to donate a kidney, but it becomes criminal if there's the reward of money. The court heard they were pictured together before the proposed operation and there were attempts to convince medics they were cousins, but they were not related. The victim cannot be identified for legal reasons. Today, Sonia Ekwaramadu cried in court as she was cleared by the jury. The transplant was due to take place at this London hospital, the court heard. But after consultations with the victim, doctors found he'd had no advice about the risks of surgery and lacked funds for the lifelong care he'd need. The surgery was refused. The jury was told the Ekwaramadus continued to search for a donor, while the victim ran away and told police he had not understood why he'd been brought to the UK until he met a doctor. He said to officers, The doctor said I was too young, but the man said if you do not do it here, he would carry me back to Nigeria and do it there. I was sleeping three days outside, around, looking for someone to help me save my life. E.K. Akwaramadu, Beatrice Akwaramadu and Abina Abeta were remanded in custody today and will be sentenced on the 5th of May. 2023. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. Keep following this page for great gist and news. I will see more of you, God willing. Goodbye for now.